Hello everyone, this is Hera Linio. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest VI, Realms of Revelation, for the DS. Previously, the party went into Everfrost Grotto in the real world, but all they found was a rusty sword. Could this be the legendary sword? We'll have to go to the rogue town of Turnscoat to see if the Master Swordsmith still lives there. Before we head there, here in the Dream World, we'll visit a little hut to the south of All Trades Abbey. Here is that hut. Hello, sir. Huh? Visitors, eh? Well, how about I let you in on a little secret? We like secrets. I hear there's a master swordsmith who lives in some town called Turnscoat. Apparently, the smith can take the rustiest of swords and pound them back into a shape good as new. That seems to be what we need. Say, that sword you've got there looks plenty rusty, doesn't it? Indeed it does. Why don't you take it over to the smith? Might be worth the trouble. That it might. So let's go back to the real world. And we'll zoom to Turnscoat. On this slender stretch of land south of Altrade's Abbey. Boy, you lot! Who said you could come here? Ali Kazam said so. This here is the rogue town of Turnscoat. I don't think you'd fit in here. It ain't your scene. Now, clear off. Hayrot shows the Turnscoat pendant received from Ali Kazam. Crikey! Well, if he's willing to vouch for you, that's good enough for me. In you come. We must remember to thank Ali Kazam. Avast! I can't believe he even remembers Ol Ali Kazam. I just wonder why Ali Kazam would hold the key to entering such a down at heel town. That is a good question. But anyway, we now find ourselves in Turnscoat. three treasures on this level. And here's a graphic of the town. In Turnscoat, we draw the line at murder. Aside from that, anything goes. The way that man spoke made me rather nervous. A rogue town like this is going to be full of danger. Let's be careful. Crikey! Rough joint, eh? Sounds like a regular den of scum and villainy. I'm on the trail of the famed muckraker, Mo the Mole. Word is, he's hiding out in Turnscoat. He's a master of disguise, so I'll need to keep my eyes peeled. A master of disguise? Crikey, he could look like anybody. If this man trades in information, then perhaps we could ask him about the legendary swordsmith of this town. Mo the Mole? Hmm. Sounds like someone it might be worth our time to consult. No treasures here in the inn, it appears. I ain't seen your ugly mugs round here before. What was it? Murder? Blackmail? Shoplifting? Well, whatever it was you did, you should hide out here in Turnscoat till the heat dies down. I think it'd be better to err on the side of caution in this town. Indeed. Blimey. Nothing here but thugs and criminals and everything like that. We can't afford to let our guard down here. 
Yes, let us be careful. Welcome to Turnscoat, a town where anything goes. And I do mean anything. I wonder what kind of thing she's referring to. Anything, I. A town where anything goes doesn't sound like my kind of place. And here's an armor shop. Not much of interest, though. Thank you anyway, ma'am. And a weapon shop. But again, nothing too interesting. But thank you, sir. And here's the pub. I heard there was a legendary swordsmith who lived here, so I thought I'd pay him a visit. Sadly, none of the townspeople have the basic common decency to tell me where he is. How unhelpful. Getting info from these folks ain't easy, I. If we don't track down that legendary swordsmith soon, someone may beat us to it. We're searching for the same person, evidently. I've been eking out a living here in Turnscoat for I don't know how many years now. The hot-blooded folks in Turnscoat tend to punch first and ask questions later. Folks here fight for their right to live on a daily basis, but I've never been much of a brawler. I reckon I'm probably only still alive cause I ain't... cause I can't fight for Toffee. The tough guys don't last long. Brute force is indeed not the answer to all life's problems. Crikey, I'd better watch myself, I. No one's tougher than me. Heh <laughs> heh. There is certainly a moral to that story. Thirsty work, isn't it? Want a drink? Well, certainly. Our house special is a Bloody Moon cocktail. Looks just like real blood, don't it? Our loyal customers can't get enough of it. Looks kinda gross. A blood-stained moon seems a fitting symbol for this town. You don't think it really is blood, I? That'd be nasty. It's a nice crimson color. Thirsty work, isn't it? Want a drink? No, thank you. Well, then, what do you want? You're not on someone's tail, are you? I don't know nothing. Huh. I reckon lots of folks come in here snooping for leads, I. Let's not waste our breath on him. We'll just have to get used to the way things are in this town. I'd have imagined a bar would be the best place to pick up information. Same here, Nevin. And here is an item shop. Well, a bow tie. That could be helpful. And the best dressed contest. Thank you, sir. Hello. Everyone who winds up here's got a past. It's best not to sniff around too much. That's the only rule we all obey in turns coat. Hardy har! I had to sniff around pretty hard to find my past eye. The real one, I mean. We'll need to use all our cunning to prize information from the townsfolk. That's sound advice. Let's not raise the hackles of the locals. There's a casino here. We'll check it out later. Hello, girl. Clink, clank, swing the hammer. Bish, bash, hear it crash. It's a funny song, ain't it? I wonder what it's about. Maybe, smithing? Some kind of carpentry song, maybe. It ain't one I've ever heard. That song leaves a de that song leaves a strangely deep impression. What a catchy tune. It must be the swinging tempo. Hee <laughs> hee.
No treasure in this house. That patch round the back is my property. But a strange bunch of folk are squatting there and bringing down the tone of the place. Man, that must be a pain in the rear, I. Possession is nine-tenths of the law, or so they say. Anything really does go in this town, eh? Anyone here? Hey, do you think you've got the right to just go in and out of my house like you own the place? Uh, no? Well, whatever. I don't know who you are, but I'm too busy to bother finding out. If you're looking for someone, I suggest you look elsewhere. Okay. Huh. I suppose folks around here don't like us just barging in. She's rather fierce, but I sense she's an astute judge of character. Well, we did come in without permission. Let's go. I wonder what her problem is. Hello there. Arg, that hurt. Why don't you watch where you're going? Come with me. Um, okay. That's how we get to this edge of town. What's up, sir? After ramming into me like that, the least you can do is buy something. Okay. Weapons, eh? What have you? Nothing too interesting. Sorry, sir. That's not the way he talks when he's doing business. I'm unimpressed by his sales technique, but at least his prices aren't extortionate. What? That was stupid. You thinking of settling down here in turns coat? It's regular paradise once you get used to its quirks. Paradise, I. Does he know what that word means? I suppose people really can adjust to living anywhere. Sadly, my image of paradise differs somewhat from that gentleman's. Hello, sir. What are travelers like you doing poking around Turnscoat? A master smith, you say? Well, I did know someone called the legendary swordsmith. No, I've forgotten. I've completely forgotten, so don't even bother to ask me again. Okay. He must have a reason for holding out on us. It seems that one shouldn't pry too deeply here. Huh? What was that all about? That's a good question. And in these bookshelves, we find the Rogue's Gallery Dreamscape. Appropriate place to find it. And here we find a mini medal. We're up to 83. That poor man's bed isn't too sheltered. Hello there. Oi, what you doing? I was here first. This is my house, and I'm not budging. Huh, he's freeloading, I. What an awkward fellow. My word. Nothing in that pot. And this is the back area of the pub. And here's a fashion forge. Very nice. I think I'll upgrade the Helm of Sabbath. Sixteen thousand. A nice increase of style. And its defense rating goes up as well. By about five, I think. 
that just leads to this roof. And another amino. And another mini metal. 84 medals. Hello, sir. You think I'm gonna spill my guts just cause you've sneaked round the back? Get out of here! Fine. I know his type. We'll never get anything out of him. So much for that idea. Bars are ideal places for gathering information. Just who should we ask? Well, not the barman, evidently. Hello there. Stop! I'm begging you! It's all true! I did it! Hey, Oi! Don't sneak up on me like that! For a second there, I thought the authorities had finally caught up with me. Oh, sorry, sir. Crikey! He surprised me more than we did him. Anyone who has committed a crime will be forever haunted by guilt. I wonder what it was that he did. Are you looking for something? Well, certainly. Ever heard tell of the famed snooper Mo the Mole? He came to town not too long ago. He charges extortionate rates for the gossip he uncovers, and he's a master at pulling the wool over folks' eyes. Just so you know. Let's make sure we don't get swindled. As long as we approach him with caution, we should be fine. Mow the mole, I. Do we really want to rely on such a shady sounding fella? We'll probably have to. And there's a door here. To the bank. No treasure in here, sadly. But we can go through... to find a couple of chests. This chest contains 2,500 gold. And this one contains... a seed of wisdom. Lovely. The last treasure in the outside part of town. Oh, hello, ma'am. What's wrong with this well? We're getting less water out of it by the day. Well, that's not good. Well's running dry, I. You think something's mucking up the works down there? Perhaps we should investigate inside the well. Could there be something at the bottom? Only one way to find out. Hmm, someone set up a house down here. Most curious. One treasure in the house. Hello, ma'am. What's that? You've come here looking for Mo the Mole? He's at the bar, as usual. I'm sure we've seen a bar in this town. The bar, I Got it. Bars are always ideal locations for gathering information. Let's have a look. And there we find a thief's key. Many hours late. There is a book entitled, Top Disguise Tips. Heyrot takes it from the shelf and reads an excerpt. First a little bang, then a little boom, and BAM! You're all set! 
Heirot looks confused. <laughs> anyway, we now have a thief's key that we don't need. Now let's check this well out. Uh-oh, a scare well appears from down the well. Let's take it out. Enjoy some zap. Double up. And kabuff. Goodbye, Scarewell. Anything down this well? Evidently not. Nothing here, sadly. So, back to the surface. Anything in here? Well, hello, ma'am. I sometimes hear strange noises coming from behind the wall. It sounds a bit like someone saying, Patty Cake, you don't think it's a ghost, do you? Patty Cake, I? Huh. A ghost that says Patty Cake? That is indeed a strange noise. Is Jessica Rabbit in here somewhere? Glug, 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 gulp. You there. Want some juicy information? A snippet only 50 gold coins. Well, sure. Right you are. Now prick up your ears, cause I'll only say this once. Just lugging around weapons and armor is useless. You need to equip them to enjoy their full benefits. Well, gee, thanks. <laughs> Bartender, make it another. He saw us coming. We've been bamboozled. Huh. I thought he would I thought that was common knowledge and everything like that. I ain't seen you in here before. Don't go blabbing about what you see here, you hear? This place is only for them who's in the know. Profit doesn't seem to be his priority. I, I guess this place was hush-hush by how they set up the entrance. I pray we can gather useful information in here. I hope so too. If you're looking for Mo the Mole, he's upstairs. Well, that was Frank. Mo? Oh, right, Mo the Mole. We found him, I. Looks like we've found Mo. Let's go and have a word with him. Ah, the famed Mo. I wonder what he's like. Hello there. You look like someone who knows what he wants. So, how about it? A private patty cake session, just for you. Well, certainly. Tee <laughs> I knew it. Come this way. Oh boy. Wait a sec. Tee <laughs> hee. Come on in. But I'm afraid this is just for one. Anyone else will have to wait out here. Okay. Ready? Here we go. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with a P. Then rub it on your cheeks for Heirot and me. Heirot's private patty cake session is finished. Heirot's style increases by five. Well, 
What did you think of my makeup skills? That pretty little face of yours is even prettier now. Tee hee hee! Well, thank you, ma'am. Patty cake certainly seems to improve one's style. It's just a stupid makeup session. I was hoping it was, you know, something else. So it was a way of getting a whole new look. Style up by five, nice. And two treasures in here. Behind this door. This chest contains a seed of wisdom. And this chest contains... a seed of life. A couple of CD chests. Lovely. We will consult Mo later. For now, we'll go around to the church and save. In the next episode, we'll consult with Mo the Mole to see if he'll tell us about the legendary swordsmith. This is Heirat Linnea. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.